Howdy, welcome to Beaver Mountain Works. On this episode, we're gonna talk about how to size your, your belt, your gun belt. Um, we get a few questions about that, and we also, every once in a while, we'll get a customer that uh, has measured themselves and called us up once they've received their product, and they say, oops, I made a mistake. <laughs> I'm bigger than I think I am, or I'm smaller than I think I am. It goes both ways. So um, we want to kind of clarify this, so hopefully you'll um, have a better understanding when you're going to measure yourself. So basically you'll get yourself one of these tapes, one of these seamstress tapes. A lot of people will use this. Or you can go by a rule of thumb that they do is whatever your pant size is. You'll add two inches for a regular belt and four inches for a gun belt. When you're walking out in the bush and you're doing a lot of stuff out in the woods, sometimes that doesn't work. We make four basic sizes, small to extra large, but we have made them larger than extra large. <clears throat> See our, this is our prospector belt. This is without loops, this is with loops. You can see on our, our belts here, this one goes all the way from a 47 for the extra large all the way up to a 53. Whereas our small goes from a 34 all the way up to a 40. <clears throat> so what we want you to do is uh, to think about when, you, when you're measuring up for your belt, your gun belt, that you do a measurement on yourself wearing the type of clothing that you'll use when you're actually going to be wearing the holster. If I'm out in the bush, I'm going to be wearing something like this on a nice day. And coming around in this direction here, I'm looking at around 41 inches. I happen to carry a pancake holster on the side here for my little lock blade. So it kind of changes the dimension coming around my body here. I got little flies coming in front of my face. I want to be movie stars. But once you hit foul weather or inclement weather, as some folks say, you, you have to uh, think about, are you going to wear that rig on the inside underneath where you have to open it up and flip it back? Or do you need it to have for protection on the outside? So whatever you want, ever want to be wearing, you want to make sure you put that on, whether it's a sweater, coat or something along that line and you want to measure yourself over that so you have a better idea so this one here now is I'm up to 45 inches it's a big difference from 41 to 45 that's four more inches so when you're going to look at the belt that you're going to want to purchase I normally fit a medium when I'm doing regular uh, so throw the gun belt on put my holster on it does make a difference too to some degree. Not much, but a little. If I put my medium on, I cinch it down. You can see right there. And this hole here is the hole that it sits in. Now it may stretch a little after time because leather does stretch a little bit, but we use pretty darn good leather. But you can notice here that we have an additional three holes from where it goes in. See the three holes? Now, <clears throat> we always try to tell folks, whatever size you're gonna wear normally, you should have a minimum of two holes still remaining. That way you have that little extra fluctuation between weight or you have to put on a larger shirt underneath and it's having to be wrapped around. But in this case, because I wear what I'm wearing this particular large unit here, this jacket, and I do it up, I'm gonna be in the second to the last hole. That still gives me a little extra room if I need to put on a heavier sweater underneath here, it's going to fit. So I hope this is kind of cleared up about how to measure for your gun belt, what to think about when you're measuring, 
and how it's going to fit you. So remember folks, the rule of thumb is your pant size plus four inches, but make sure you think about the extra garments that you're going to be having underneath whatever gun belt you're going to be wearing. If you have any questions, just give us a shout. Be sure to subscribe, hit that bell to get notifications when we have new uh, videos coming out, as well as sign up for our newsletter. Y'all take care now.